All right, Jordan, we are going to go through this rather quickly just because I have to email it. And again, I'm probably just going to say more of the things that need correcting than anything else, so don't take it too personal. One thing, as I mentioned out before today, is I think that, that the knees are just too stiff. So try to get a little bit more flexion in the knees and lower the butt just a little bit. So more flexion at the knees, almost like a shortstop position when you're playing baseball. One thing that you're going to have problems with is when you catch the ball and you're still flat-footed. You can see you're still flat-footed when you catch the ball. Then what you do is you mold the ball and then start your approach. The problem is this is going to take too much time, and when you have guys rushing at you, you're really going to feel hurried. So where you should be at right now is your left foot should actually be stepping into the football, and your left foot should be somewhere about right here at this point. So step into the ball with your left foot. You hold the ball underneath, which I, I'm not going to really make a big deal about the holding the football. Some people hold the ball underneath. Some people hold the ball on the side. Some people hold the ball on top. To me, it's, it's almost like a baseball pitcher throwing a ball. There's a lot of different ways to throw it. If that's where you feel more comfortable in holding the ball, then that's okay. The traditional NFL approach is more on top. But personally, I really don't feel that that's bad. The thing that I think needs a little bit of correcting, and again, you know, excuse me for just kind of pointing out the negatives, is if that's waist high right there, you're dropping the ball waist high. I mean, you're dropping the ball above waist high. You need to drop the ball waist high. And when you make contact with the ball, contact should be made at the knee or slightly above the knee. So basically what you're doing is you're dropping the ball too high and you're making contact too low. Another thing I want to mention here and because of the video it kind of cuts it off you're pretty much flat-footed right there. Can you see that? Your, your left heel is pretty much on the ground. So you're pretty much flat-footed when you kick the ball, and on this one I don't notice it a lot, but there's others that I've noticed, that when you kick the ball, your left foot doesn't want to hop. I'm not necessarily saying jump off, but your left foot wants to come up off the ground, and it, and it does slightly. It really does slightly. But I think at contact, you should drop the ball higher, or drop the ball lower, make contact a little higher, and from right here, bam, is come up. Remember what I told you today. This is where the power of the punt comes from. The power of the punt comes from your upper leg more or less being stationary, if you will, and the action of the lower leg, the action of the lower leg snapping, bam, right in here. That is the quickness, boom, that you want to try to develop, wham, to come up. Everything should be up. Every single thing should be coming up at this point because that's where you want the ball to go is up. So drop the ball a little lower, make contact a little higher, and work on having your body come up at contact. One thing that is very good, one thing that is very good, is your toe. You have great flexibility. Your toe here, your left leg is straight with the complete extension of your hamstring. So you have very good flexibility. Anyway, good job. I'll try to send you uh, another video. Thank you.